shoes. Have you ever thought about like, what if we're trying to do an unboxing and that the wrong items arrive in the box? Like, wouldn't they completely suck? I thought so too. Hello everyone, welcome back to Life is Aisha. Today we're doing an unboxing of two pairs of shoes that I recently ordered from Hibbit Sports and I just got them in the mail today so I said let me come straight home and unbox these shoes for you all. So I've already taken them out of the package that they came in and they're right here sitting beside me. Um, first off, let's just say that these were two steals, okay? I got them for super cheap and I was happy about it. I just have been on kind of a high 80s when it comes to shoes. I think I've only purchased about three or four pairs of shoes this entire year, which is completely unlike me because normally um, at the most I used to purchase about four or five pairs a month. So yeah, that's a big drastic change for me but this year have I have just been focusing on more so me not so much the material things in life. Two pairs of shoes I got they were both under a hundred dollars. Um, the first pair I'm going to show you these are the women Nike M2K Techno and I've been wanting these shoes not this particular color but just this shoe model for a long period of time but I just haven't really been able to find the color that I wanted. I originally wanted the royal blue and orange ones and white i insert a pick and those were like super popular um but these shoes only retail for a hundred dollars so that's a good thing off top but i still was like i probably can get them on sale which i definitely did i got these for if i'm not mistaken i think they were 44 dollars i put all of the why am i squinting i put all of the information in my description box the box typical nike box um i got them in a eight women's which is a six half in men and the only thing I'm upset about, I don't know if it's you I don't know if it's a problem with UPS because it shipped the UPS sure post, meaning that the post office was the last people to touch my box and my package. But I noticed when I went outside and I saw the package, I said, my package looks bent up. And this right here, this is unacceptable. Like this is a freaking brand new shoe box and it looks like I've been having it for months or even years. Like I have shoe boxes that are years old and they are still intact. So this right here is not okay. And then I tried to fit it back in here, but as you can see, it's just tore right here. So it's not going to stay. So I'm a little upset about that. I don't know if I should just report it to them because yeah, I'm one of those people that I report all my issues to customer service and I begin, um, I get promo codes and stuff for it. So I low key think I should do that because I'm not happy about that. But on to the shoes <laughs> before I start complaining here. <laughs> These are the shoes right here. Let me read the exact color off the box. They are black, metallic, silver, noir. I guess that's, okay, never mind. That's another language. Okay, it just says black, metallic, silver, which doesn't really fit the description of these shoes because these shoes have like this baby pink, this pale pink color in it, and it also has neon. So, and y'all you know I love a good neon <laughs> for any season. But this is how the shoe looks. It just has Nike on the inside here. On the tongue of the shoe, it just has Nike. Um, it's kind of like a mesh and has Nike um, and neon on the shoe. Yeah, like that focus. Okay. And the shoelaces are like this pale pink and white. Um, it's kind of like intertwined. May can see that, maybe not. Maybe I need to pull back some. But um, yeah, the shoe is basically all leather, um, all over. Like I said, it's a little bit of mesh right here in the middle of the tongue, but also on the sides of the tongue, it's leather going down each side of it. These are eight in women. And I think I already said that this is the sole, the bottom of the shoe. Nothing too special, but I just thought it was a cute shoe. And for $45, I'll buy just about anything. <laughs> Shoe-wise, anyway. And um, that's the right shoe. This is the left shoe. Same thing. I like that it has two Nike checks. Like, I think that's just super cool when shoes come with, like, something a little different. And the same for the inside of it. So, yep, same thing on both ends. I like the neon going towards the back here and it's just all back here. It does have a little tag right here. So um, I like that on shoes because it makes it easier to pull on, put a shoe on and off. So I do like a little tag right there. It also has a Nike check right here across the front of the shoe. And I think that's all I want to say about this shoe because I don't want this to be too long. Y'all know I, I love rambling. So um, 
Oh, also it has neon on the um the tips of the shoelace, so that's pretty cool. But um, and then oh, one side has pink and one side has neon. This is just how the shoes look, side by side, top on bottom, and let me put these back in this damaged box and on to the next shoe we got these are a pair of nike air air force ones why is it hard for me to say air force together i don't know but um <laughs> it's retail for 90 dollars, and i got them for 59.97 it actually has the little price tag on the shoe the shoe paper actually has like these little stars embossed on it i don't know if you can see it but it has like a you know a nice little feel to the box these are the Air Force One, um, I don't know, what's LV? I haven't bought Air Force Ones in a long time. LV83. And these are in a grade school six youth. And black, black aloe verde. So that's verde is green, if I'm not mistaken. Haven't taken Spanish since high school, so don't mind that. Or is that green, brown? I don't know but anyway these were a part of the real tree pack and it actually still has a tag on it. i guess it was on sale for 69.95 in a store but i got them for ten dollars um cheaper than that but um and it still has you know, nike air force one um camo so this one has on the inside and it has 90 dollars on the inside of the shoe so i'm assuming this was a display model actually because it actually has you know the sticker that you see in stores inside the shoe so hopefully nobody tried my shoe on but um <laughs> anyway this is how the shoe looks super dope right i just love shoes with gum bottoms like it's just it's just my thing and to get a pair of air force ones i used to have uh, quite a few of um gum bottom forces back in the day not that back in the day was that long ago but um <laughs> yeah and i was super excited about getting this shoe not only is it like a neat shoe that you wouldn't see every day but it was from the real tree pack i think three including this one three including this pair um came out in the pack of so i'll insert a pic right now of the pack i'm pretty sure it was an orange pair and a white pair but don't quote me on that and this is like the brown the typical camo but this is more of like a desert well not really desert but like a woodsy camo like you remember i know in my school but i say in the south but um john deere clothing and stuff used to be really in style so a lot of people wore like this kind of printed t-shirt so it has real tree on the inside here can you see that there you go a little bit but it has like a little real tree symbol i'll pop that up and show it to you all um what i'm talking about if you're not really familiar with the real tree brand but um, this is how it looks. It has Nike Air on the back in green. And this is also like a kind of suede or nubbuck. I think it's, I think it's more suede-ish um, feeling material. The laces and are just regular black laces. This The tongue has the Nike Air Force One logo and symbol on it. And it has that in green as well. Just a black. Um, and then the, the swoosh is also like that suede. Maybe nubbuck. Nubuck, nubbuck. How do you pronounce that word? I've always wondered that for years. It's a new book, no book. But um, also on this shoe, because both of them are not the exact same print, it has real tree right there and a, a little bit of a symbol. So, yeah, you should be able to see that. Yeah. So, yeah, super cool That's shoe. That's going to really bring us to the end of this video. I wanted this to be um, more short, straight to the point. And let me know if you are looking forward to any more steals and deals. That's not what I think I'm going to call this series on my channel let me know if you're um interested in any more steals and deals that i get i also try to post stuff on my instagram stories when i see stuff so follow me right here or down here somewhere you'll see my instagram name also it's in my about info and in my description box so follow me on all my social media accounts and of course i've already said this before but you need to subscribe to me because your girl is trying to get to the 800 mark and eventually to the thousand mark i know i've been saying that for you know a while now but i gotta be consistent and we both know that so don't remind me but you know with consistency my channel will grow and we will both grow you're part of the a squad so yeah we will grow it's a channel and grow it's a little family here so and as always, remember to like, comment, subscribe, share this video, let me know your thoughts. Thumbs up, it's very important. And I'll see you in my next video. Thank you for watching.